You are watching The Sim Architects. Hello, welcome to my newest video. Uh, here I am going to build a strip mall. Uh, it's an unfinished project, but you can take you can have an idea of what I am going for. Uh, so to start, I created uh, two main buildings, one in the front near the sidewalk, another on the back. Now I am putting some parking spots because this strip mall has a garage in the middle of it. It's a little bit eccentric, it's for the poor neighborhood. Uh, but I think it's fun anyway, it was the first strip mall that I ever built, so I did it exactly two years ago, November of 2012. Uh, you can see that I am undoing whatever I did before, and uh, after that I just built some... It looks like a platform, right? Yes, it does. And then I am changing the garage. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going... It does look like that a little bit. Yes. It's such a long time ago that I don't even remember exactly what I did, but that's it's actually part of the suspense, right? Because you gotta see. Now you can see I am like repeating, repeating the... I repeated the sidewalk for some parts and now I am like repositioning the parking spots. Now I am using, I am actually using a fence to divide the garage, to divide the spots. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I'm really wondering. We'll see. Okay. You know, it's a poor neighborhood, so it doesn't look fancy at all. I guess since uh, a few updates from the start, Sims can walk over those lines. They could not before. But I think it was fixed. It was fixed somehow. Now I'm going to raise the ceiling of the mall. Because since it's a commercial building, that's how you do it. Okay. Now you're building some, some cover. So, because that's, that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Now we have some roof and some, yeah, the columns. Well, the columns are okay though, but I think I did not keep them for some reason. I don't remember why. Maybe they looked too fancy for a poor neighborhood. That's quite, oh no, because I think, yeah, I didn't go with the It looks like they didn't go with the roof, so they had to go. Okay. I guess now 
yes now i am dividing the stars so you have like four stars on each block i remember that i only decorated two of them so there are still six to be decorated uh, which is cool though well some painting is happening now okay and trying the columns again i don't know why but for some reason i am just doing it it looked nice but i would i would have to lift the ceiling a little bit i don't know why i didn't do it to be honest but after a while, I, I know that I got rid of them. I really, really, really don't know why I kept trying it. You know, it's a real-time video. Well, it was a real-time video because now it's a spe speed build. So even though I'm not cutting anything off, uh, you can see the whole process. And I think it's part of the fun because... Uh, you can see how it actually works and of course I had uh, less experience back then not that I have a lot of experience now I don't but you know I had move objects on so doors look funny when you place them using move objects on uh, there are ways to fix that but yeah Okay, I really don't know if the doors are going to work if I had like a platform inside. Oh, okay, I got rid of the platforms. Good. I was a little bit unsure about it, but yes. Uh, so everything is level now. I had to redo the garage lines because there was a bug when I removed the parking thing. So the doors are going to work. Well, you can see some pictures uh, where there are workers on the Japanese restaurant. Yes, there is. there will be a Japanese restaurant, I think, here. And uh, on the side, uh, you will have a hair salon, which is a hair salon, which is really cool. Now, lots of windows because you want to show people what you are selling. You have two larger stores in the middle and you have two smaller stores uh, in the corners or on the corners. That's a good question. English isn't my first language, so sorry. And now, like, the Japanese restaurant was a cool, a great idea. I really wanted to make it so badly. I don't remember why, but I just did. And uh, I am using some custom content from the store. There is, like, a Japanese thingy that you can, that you can install. So, I think it's a Japanese grill, or I don't remember the name, but... You know, you can cook Japanese food using it. I'm not sure if they can, if they will actually cook Japanese, but, uh, you know, it's at least cool. Now we have this bar. I don't know if I change the side, sides of the bar or if I'm keeping it. Anyway, you can see there is a nice bar there. And now you have a place for some sake and other drinks. Because why not? Turning grid on and now 
let's put some tables yes because your customers want to sit while they eat sushi or sashimi or whatever they order so uh i have a feeling yes i think the restaurants will have some smaller tables like you can see there and some larger ones yeah it looks it's starting to look japanesey i think at least american japanese or occidental japanese you know it's fun and lots of lights going on i don't know why the place looks that this dark but i am almost sure that it was fixed later on so okay yeah you need that stuff if you are like if you have a restaurant that was something that i could just put over the over the desk and more decorations and uh, okay i removed it i don't know why but i did and uh, it's really exciting i have no idea <laughs> on what i did okay cool i used those those wall lights they actually go very well with the decoration and uh, a few of these over the bar because why not uh and some fluorescent lights for the cooking area because you know you are supposed to see very well what you're doing when you cook especially japanese food food not food <laughs> the meat okay and there we go maybe i was thinking well i'm glad the grid is off yeah it looks better without the grid of course uh well and i was probably thinking thinking and thinking good now it's fast oh well the restaurant seems to be ready for now I believe I'm going to work on it later. Okay, yeah, you have like the changing, like the transformation station, because I think that's actually what does, that, that's actually what works. The magic okay now we have some little rooms in the middle i have no idea what oh, okay these will be like washrooms oh my god i think the japanese restaurant doesn't have bathrooms so it's not good it's something to be fixed yay <laughs> well it's like I said, it's unfinished, so you get what you get, and uh, it's to be continued. It's part of the fun about it, actually, because, you know, you can leave what you would like uh, to see here in the comments section below. It's really funny that I, I am placing the washrooms for the hair salon and i'm not having washrooms on the in the restaurant because the restaurant seems to be a place where you really need washrooms more than you know and i don't know maybe like the the corner store will probably have to be reduced in size so i can fit the washrooms without having a tiny little 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 restaurant it's okay it's a very small strip mall actually i thought this this size would be enough for the stores but it doesn't look like but it's okay, I will just make a smaller corner. 
store behind the, the Japanese restaurant and uh, well a hair salon salon needs mirrors lots of mirrors and you know you need those shelves to put your hair dryer your tools your makeup everything you you need to serve your clients space was a serious problem here the game can be a little tricky uh, sometimes you build rooms you think they are big huge and they aren't uh, so i recommend uh, you to always think very well when you set the lot size to avoid building uh, two little lots but you know it's okay it's it's a starter thing it was the first strip mall it works you can see it works it's tiny but it works so you know of course i learned from this experience and i won't do a double strip mall for you know the next the next time I will just build um, I will build it as a single strip mall and uh, and I will probably if I have a small lot like this I will just have two levels and the stores will be larger and uh, you will see some parking and a little bit of garden in front of it but I don't know if I will build like a mall for the poor. Uh, I believe, I'm sure that I will build at least one large mall for the rich people near the beach because what's a town without a mall, right? And now I am changing this. Okay, yeah, I figured, I figured out that one bathroom was more than enough for a hair salon so uh, it didn't need one for guys and another for girls this is just fine even though it's a unisex place now lots of light it looks dark but now it's bright yeah Uh, and let's see what happens next. You have the, well, you have the, the stations and you have the place for the clients to sit, spots for the clients to sit, and stronger lights because you need to see what's happening, what you are doing, and yeah, the and now you have just plain bathroom thingy stuff because you know it's for poor people you're not supposed to have fancy uh, furniture at all like it's supposed to look a little bit luxurious because it's a hair place but I wanted this to be a little bit on the tacky side, so that's why you have the oh my god, the zebra stamp on the on the sofa because what could look less tacky than that? <laughs> you know, it it looks yeah, it's like Dolly Parton is just coming in for a touch-up or <laughs> well not Dolly Parton because she's rich but you got the point like they say it's expensive to look cheap right but sometimes you want to look cheap so that's the point here 
so yeah everything is really shiny and uh, yeah you have like an internal area like for the staff where they can make coffee for the clients and where they store like chemicals and other stuff because you need to have that in a hair salon you don't want to mix your stuff in front of your client because what's the point of the magic thing if you show everything so if you hide what you're doing you can always charge more yeah the coffee maker is there yay i think this room this room is kept locked because i didn't want clients just barging in and walking in it but you can always open it manually uh I don't know exactly how you can put people working on it. I'm sorry for that. I I am I'm more like I am more a builder than um than a player, so I really need to play around and see how things work there. I could see that you will have people serving you, which is fantastic. It's great. I saw two employees, so I think one in the bar and another on the um, on the cashier selling food. So well, now you have some decoration. Yeah, and uh, we wanted a painting that would go well on that wall, but we wanted some color because yeah, not more gray. Yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. So, yeah. Some flowers. I like orchids. Orchids. Orchids? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And now... Oh, yeah, I think... We need some wall decorations for this strip mall later on. Uh, and what am I doing now? Oh, okay. I was like changing the floors a little bit for the areas where you are supposed to walk. I don't know. Maybe I should put some garden. No, no, not gardens there because I want the clients to be able to walk near the windows. Even though your sim will never do such a thing unless you order them to uh, let's say that it looks nice okay and now you can see the pictures so yeah the mall the hair salon another angle the japanese restaurant with the grill the japanese grill the, the restaurant another view of the restaurant yeah, see the two people serving food and uh, yeah, it looks nice. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to be the first to know whenever I post new videos and release new material for you to download. I would really love to know your opinion, so please tell me what you think in the comments section below. Have a great time!